All right, so then let's say Ben Benedict is ready to go back. So he goes back and he gets his treatment. He comes back out. All I have to do is click on his name again, and it will automatically go into entering services. Now, in this case, the documenter portion has already sent a service through an electronic fee slip right to billing. And when I go in here, here it is, and I'm going to widen this screen just a little bit. Here it is, all laid out with the doctor, the time, the CPT code and description. Here's diagnosis pointing. See each one of these, diagnosis 1, 2, 3, and 4, aligns up with diagnosis 1, 2, 3, and 4 up here. Dollar amount, carrier portion, patient portion, any adjust off, all that can all be calculated. And down here, it says patient pays. That's the amount that they're supposed to pay. There's also a button here that, gets, that can be used, and this is called copy previous services, or like same as last treatment. So if you're not using the documentation part, and they got the same as last time, you click one button, you're already done. Now maybe they get up to the front desk and they also want to buy a pillow or something like that. Well, I can go over here to basically manual entry. Here's categories of services, and you would only have the categories of services in here that you do. You're not going to have anything else. And like I said, this is more set up multidisciplinary. That's why I have so many things. But I can come in here and let's say they're going to purchase a cervical pillow. Well, that's all I have to do. It even puts the right business that it's purchased from. CPTs, descriptions, prices. You notice over here it broke it down to the patient side since it's not covered by their insurance. And now it says down here what to collect. Now, if you need more information and more details on exactly how things work, or if at any point you're not sure it will work in your office, then please just give our sales consultants a call and they would be happy to get a technician to do a demonstration for you in whatever detail that you need to show uh, that it would work for you in your office. All right, so we're going to go back here. They owe $61.29. All I have to do is come up here to where it says enter new payments and I click on enter new payments. I have fast pay turned on. You'll see right here it's checked. So it went in and posted the monies right to the proper service. It itemized, posted it, totaled it up, put it over here in our payment area, found out they paid by check last time, which I could always change if I needed to, if they're not paying by check this time. Then I just come down to the check. I put in the check number so it can write the bank deposit slip for me. If I need a receipt, I just click on receipt. Otherwise, I'm done. I've just done everything. I've updated all my copays, my visit numbers, everything. Now, what it's going to do is to help you manage your patients. It takes you to a calendar of their future appointments. Down the left, you'll see different months, November, December, January, February. Across the top are the different days of the week. These purple colored boxes mean that this patient Benjamin Benedict has appointments on those days and it shows the time of the appointment and the length. Now imagine each one of these is really, you see it's like gray and then white and then gray. Each one of these is a mini calendar on here. If you want to see more information, you can just make the calendar bigger and it starts to show who they're scheduled for and so on. So there's a lot of information here. It's also very easy to schedule more visits. I can actually come over here, pick a time, and then just click on the spots, and if it's available, it will automatically book it for the time that I've chosen. Or I can go into Multi, and in here I can say I want them to come in Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from whenever to whatever, and if I ran it, it would just go bang, and it would build them all. If there are any of them that are conflicted, in other words, that appointment's full, it would show you so we could correct it right from here. When I'm done scheduling them all out, I can even come up, and there are several different formats, but I can even have a calendar, and I'm only showing part of it here, but there can be a calendar of their future appointments that it will print out. So you can hand that to the patient instead of having to go through and handwrite on a card. Now myself, I've never liked handwriting all those appointments on cards, especially when I go out and find them laying on the ground in the parking lot. So we've designed several different styles of calendars that you can choose which style you want and give that to the patient. 
So then when we're done with this, I just come back up here and I click on today's schedule. Benjamin Benedict has turned green in the background, which means he's done, processed, and out of here. It's really that simple. Now, really quick, I'm going to do this more at full speed. So Gail Health comes in, gets her treatment, comes back out. I click on her name again. I'm going to enter a service. Um, in this case, she doesn't owe anything because of her uh, type of insurance. I can come in here. I can say, let's book another couple appointments for her. And I'm actually done and back to today. And that's really all that it takes. It's very, very fast. You can see a very high volume. And the nice part is it's so simple to use. It takes so few clicks to get the job done. It just makes you a much more efficient office, which is something, as you know, we all need nowadays. We need to be more efficient. That's the end of this presentation. If you'd like to see more, more detail, more exact application of this particular package and how it would work in your office, just give our sales consultants a call and they will arrange to have a technician bring you through it in the exact detail that you would like. Thank you very much for spending the time listening to this video.